guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be installing an airlift bumper on a Humvee. Now a lot of these old school Humvees, they don't come with a rear bumper like, like this one example here. And um, a lot of people want to install a rear bumper, uh, an airlift bumper uh, especially, because not only does it look cool, but um, it allows the Humvee to be suspended from the air. Um, most people, I would assume, that are watching this are not planning on suspending their Humvee from the air or dropping it from a helicopter. So um, most of the utility that an uh, airlift bumper would provide is probably some mounting points where you can mount a, a spare tire or a, um, a license plate frame. And um, today we're going to install it on this Humvee. Now the installation of this bumper is actually quite simple. Um, it doesn't require too much time, but it does take some uh, scouring on the internet for parts and the right size bolts and fasteners. Today we're going to show you how to do it. So this is what the uh, bumper kind of looks like with everything hooked up together. Um, I've got all the fasteners laid out to where they're kind of supposed to be um, with, in the respect to where they mount up. Um, there's a couple of parts that's going on here and I'll post all the uh, the part numbers in the description. Um, this by no means includes all the different parts that you're going to need to um, have like an official airlift bumper but this is kind of the essential things that you'll need to have the bumper hooked up. So the first thing that you want to do is remove the old support system and the old uh, pinnel hitch uh, bracket. In order to do that, it's very simple. Just remove four bolts right here. It goes all the way through like this. There's one large bolt going up and down like this. Remove the bolt for this. There's one bolt in the back right here. And then four bolts holding the pintle hitch to the bracket. And there's a the same setup on this end. And also, um, you wanna remove these, these two bolts and a bracket that's holding the connector in the back so that you can bring it out. All right, so let's start removing uh, the support uh, systems here. And if you'll notice, I've got a piece of wood wedged right in between here. And the reason is because once we take this support bracket off, um, the truck body is uh, supported by this thing right here. And once we take it off, the truck body has a tendency to um, sag down a little bit. So for ease of insulation later on, um, we're gonna just put a piece of wood here and um, I hope that it'll, it'll just catch and then kind of suspend it and hold it in place. So we'll just take these four uh, bolts off here. And um, we're gonna be using a uh, three fourths inch socket. It should come right off. Oh, I just ran into a uh, hiccup here. If you notice, I couldn't get the bolt bolt out, and that's because uh, this this thing right here is in the way. So we got to take this off first. Uh, taking this thing off is really simple. All you need is a 15/16 socket. It should go right up. up a little bit. So that now that that's out, we can move this out. And take the last one off. I can tell it's a little tight because
we go. All right, so we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Uh, we're gonna take the big guy off first this time so that our bolts don't don't get caught again. Uh, remember these guys up top, they're not gonna come all the way out because uh, this thing's in the way. So we gotta get this thing off first. There you go. All right, so now we just gotta get these four guys off. Should be simple enough. Not a cross member, but two uh, bra braces in the back holding uh, it up. There's two bolts, and once we remove that, this whole thing should be uh, coming down. This thing's been stuck on there for like 30 years, so. It's probably just a little rusty and uh, oh, we'll get it off. So this thing's pretty easy to remove. There is a, uh, a pin here that holds the casting line in here. Just gotta pull it out. And now you've got open access and I believe this is the wrong one, yep. You're gonna wanna use a 15-16 socket. Yep. right off like this all right well same thing on this end you just gotta take this pin out first it's a little bent let's just try to bend this back straight it's gonna be a lot easier to take out once it's straight Next, we're gonna take out this uh, trailer socket here. Um, we're gonna remove it so that we can put it on our airlift bumper. This is a half inch socket. This thing's been on there for years. It's so sandy. It's got all this nastiness on here. I don't know if this rust or what is this? Just disgusting. I feel like I should be wearing a respirator mask doing this. Hopefully I'm not getting this, some of this paint in the air. That'd be bad news. off to the side here. There's also a little um, a little grommet up here that we're gonna have to remove later. I don't know if y'all remember this but this thing is being a pain in the ass. It's been there for uh, 30 years and got all the bolts loose but this won't come out so we're gonna do some encouraging by way of hammer. Alright, 
so at this point you got all the mounting hardware old mounting hardware removed and um, everything looks good it's time to install the uh, new mounting hardware all right guys at this point we're gonna have to install the uh, the new mounting brackets this is probably the most painful thing to do because it's a pain in the ass and if you notice this bracket right here there is an oval side and a circular side. You want the oval side to be facing up because this guy's gonna be in here. And we're gonna mount it like so. And at the same time, we're gonna have to shoot boot bolts through, four bolts through here. So, what we're gonna do is, oh yeah, don't forget, you're gonna use one of these shims on each side. So, want to secure this one first because it is probably the hardest one to secure. So as you can see, we got this uh, this thing secure now that the, uh, the the truck bed is in the air. Don't forget, we're gonna put another shim on here, and we're gonna put this guy on here. Don't forget your washers. So we want this kind of loosey goosey because uh, we want to be able, we want this thing, these uh, these things to be able to move just a little bit while we install them because the hard part is getting that airlift bumper on to match up. So once we get the airlift bumper on, we can tighten all these guys. So for now gonna make sure it doesn't fall off and we'll do the same thing on the other side don't forget your spacers As you can tell, as you can see, this this side is a lot easier, only because the truck bed's already in the air. So, what I'm gonna do. Oops, forgot this guy. say that's pretty good. Make sure you put that spacer on. Once again we want to kind of just tighten it enough so that it'll stay but it'll still give us a little bit of wiggle room in case we need to wiggle it when we installed our airlift bumper. 
right, so at this point, you can kind of tell where everything's gonna mount up. These two holes go here. These four holes go right here. And we got another support bra brace that's gonna go back here. We're gonna install that later on. Uh, the little tough part about doing this yourself is this thing is freaking heavy, right? So in order for you to do this, what you probably want to do is put a bolt through here and just get it through that first one. Once you get that first one on this side, you want to get it through that, um, do the same on the other side, and it'll support itself. By then, you should be able to have enough support to reinstall uh, install all the other bolts. Let's try that. So I got one bolt here, it's gonna go right in here. This is kinda wiggly, so I don't trust it too much, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is Put a washer and a nut in here, just so it don't pop out on me when I'm trying to put the other side in. All right. And we're gonna go on this side. There we go. Now this is why it's important not to tighten everything down yet because it's hard to line everything up if if you can't move it around. And again, I don't want to tighten everything up yet. I just want to tighten a few things um, here and there and then we'll go from there Now at this point you pretty much have um, Everything figured out most of the hard parts done getting rid of the old uh, Hardware putting the support brackets on there You got the big-ass bumper on here, and all you got to do is just put these bolts in there and line it up Sometimes you gotta use your shoulder to prop the bumper up a little bit just so you can get, a, get it to go on the right angle. Now this top one here, top right, top left one on the other side is a little tricky and I'll show you in a little bit why. There's not a lot of room to wiggle with so this is the one that you probably want to secure first. bad boys up.
show you guys something. If you notice that all four of these bolt sizes secured. But right here. Do you see this guy? He is not secure. The reason why is because I used a bolt that was slightly too long and it's hitting the back of this thing. So once I'm done, I'm gonna have to back this one out and switch a different uh, different bolt through. But let's just continue tightening everything else because it looks like I can get to everything else. So I'm gonna show you why we're gonna use this bolt and this bolt is way too long. Whoops. So you see this? It's a bit longer. And what's happening is it's hitting the end of this. So I have to use this guy. Hopefully it's long enough. It's a three, three inch, I think. I know a three inch when I see one. And yep, it seems to fit just fine. The crappy thing is, it just doesn't match with all the other ones because of the material. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to unhook this one and uh, put this kind of bolt in there just to make it match. Alright, so we're going to take the bottom one off too, just so it matches. All right, I'm going to have to do the exact same thing on this side. We're going to remove these two bolts and put in, put in these guys. How's that look? So at this point you might be wondering, um, what about those brackets you'd ever secured? Oh yeah, I gotta do that. So there are two support beams, one on each side, and it goes one into the truck and the other right onto the bumper. And this kind of secures it just a little bit more. We're gonna install that. You know, sometimes I just can't get it in the freaking hole. Huge, huge personal problem. So for the back, we're actually gonna use the old bolts that we pulled out. I think they'll fit, I'm not really sure, but I think they'll fit. Just in case you guys were wondering, um, these two side 
these two beams are actually the same part number. Now technically I don't think they're supposed to be, but they are interchangeable for the most part. install these guys. And they go right here on both sides. They're very simple. Now that we got the bumper up, we got to transfer this this trailer, this pencil trailer over to this guy right here. Let's hope everything lines up. There we go. Um, before I tow anything, I'm probably gonna um, have to find the right tool to secure it properly before attempting to tow anything. So, it looks like it fits pretty good. Looks good. Now that the pintle hitch is installed, there's really the only one thing left to do, and uh, connect this connector here. And what we are going to need is one of these adapter plates so that this can mount up to here. Um, this is bare aluminum, so we're going to have to paint this before we install it. Uh, and I'm going to have to save this for another day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we're able to take a few things from the video. I uh, just want to thank all the guys that are on the internet posting photos and videos of how to install this airlift bumper. It definitely helped me install mine and I hope this video can do the same for you.